Stable Diffusion 1.5 just came out and this is going to absolutely blow your mind. Hello my friends, how are you doing? So in the new version of Stable Diffusion we have image to image render. Let me explain what that means. For example here I was looking for an image of a geisha because I want to create a geisha render. Now you can see she is in a dynamic beautiful pose, the light is interesting, she has makeup on all that amazing stuff. On pages like Paxels or Unsplash you can find thousands of images you can use for free. The way this works on Dream Studio, which is an online version of Stable Diffusion, is down here you have the editor, so you go in here and you upload the image. I would suggest to you to crop the image before because I didn't find any way to crop it up here on the website. Then up here you have a slider for the image strength. I set it to 50%. You go down here and enter your prompt. Here on the side you can make your settings like the width, the height, the scale, the steps. The more steps, the more quality the image can have. I have used 70 steps, you can go higher. If you go too low, the image quality is not going to be great. For image to image I found that the K Euler sampler works pretty good and I have selected the Stable Diffusion version 1.5 model for this of course. I've turned the seed off so this is a random seed and then simply down here you click on Dream. As you can see this is an absolutely amazing improvement because not only does it take the light situation and the colors but also the posing of the original character from the photo. So this makes it a lot easier to create your artworks, to create concept art and to work on your ideas and projects. I'm absolutely amazed by this and I think we are going to see similar things on Midjourney too because Midjourney is using a lot of the stable diffusion open source tech in their render models. If you haven't used the Dream Studio website before, be careful because this works different than Midjourney. Here your images are not saved online. So download them right away after the render has finished by going over the image and clicking on the download button. On the Dream Studio site you don't get free renders. You have to pay for every render and it costs more the more steps you're using. So be careful about how often you try this because this can be a real big money sink. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you soon.